we ride comfortably and safely over our indispensable modern roads and highways with little thought for the engineering and construction skill that smooths our way. Yet, there's a fascinating story behind such pavements, romance under our rolling wheels. For about four-fifths of all our paved streets and highways are surfaced with asphalt, one of the oldest substances used by man, an almost indestructible material. Indeed, the story of asphalt goes back to the very dawn of history, written in the deposits of natural asphalt, like the La Brea Pits in Los Angeles, California. It is generally believed that such ponds are the result of ancient petroleum deposits exposed upon the Earth's surface. Over thousands of years, lighter components of the original crude oils have evaporated, leaving behind the asphalt, refined by nature. Asphalt is not to be confused with tar. Tar comes from coal. Asphalt comes from petroleum. In its present state, the asphalt dates back to the Pleistocene era, as shown by the skeletal remains found intact in this best of all known preservatives. Bones of giant sloths, woolly mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and ancient bison. Forty thousand years ago, these animals ventured upon the crust of the pond and were caught as though on a giant sheet of flypaper. They sank into the soft black mass and eventually were swallowed up. The asphalt, seemingly immune to change or decay, has kept a record of this prehistoric life. Natural asphalt deposits occur in many parts of the world. There are some in the Middle East, the cradle of civilization, and man has valued this versatile substance since ancient times. Noah waterproofed his ark, inside and out, with asphalt. In the land of Shinar, the Tower of Babel was built of bricks laid in an asphalt mortar. The art of masonry construction developed around this strong mortar, and none better has ever been discovered. Nebuchadnezzar and other Babylonian monarchs undertook great building projects, roads to serve the empire, temple baths and pools, irrigation ditches and sewers, all built with asphalt blocks and asphalt waterproofing. When the Egyptian pharaoh's daughter discovered the infant Moses floating in the bulrushes, the little basket in which he lay was waterproof with asphalt. During the great age of discovery, asphalt was destined to play an important role. In 1498, Columbus, on his third voyage, discovered an island which he named Trinidad. And there, according to his own log, he careened his galleons and caulked their storm-racked seams with natural waterproofing material. This came from Trinidad's asphalt lake. Material from the same Trinidad Lake was mixed with aggregates and used in 1876 to lay one of the first modern-type asphalt pavements in America, Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. Its great success made it the forerunner of over three-quarters of a million miles of asphalt paving that serve the nation today. But the material which cemented these roads was increasingly refined from petroleum. For as technicians perfected the distillation of crude oils, they found ways to separate the asphalt and refine it in many grades, including asphalt cement for paving asphalt. Since the application of refined petroleum asphalt to roads, the material has become one of the most important products of our petroleum industry. Today, America uses each year more than 16 million tons of asphalt refined directly from petroleum, as compared with some 4,000 tons of imported natural asphalt.
years of competitive production and heavy investment in scientific research by the industry have made the refining of petroleum asphalt a highly controlled and complex process. Modern techniques produce many types of asphalt, ranging from hard solids to almost water-thin liquids. Each one is designed for specific applications, for this remarkable substance plays many roles in modern living. About 70% of the annual production is delivered to road agencies and to local road building contractors across the nation. Independent businessmen who have developed proven systems of economical construction for every highway requirement. On lightly traveled country roads, for instance, thin coatings of asphalt are applied whenever necessary to lay the dust and seal the granular surface. Such surface treatments serve very well for light and infrequent traffic. Roads for heavier traffic, however, are carefully built up from the earth foundation in courses or layers with asphalt binding together aggregates of stone, slag, or gravel. The asphalt binder imparts a flexible, tough character to the courses. Sometimes these courses are mixed in place and spread immediately. More often, the aggregates and asphalt are heated and compounded in stationary asphalt paving plants. They are precisely blended to the engineering specifications for each particular job. The coarser aggregate mixtures for the base courses and finer ones for the surface. The asphalt portion of this mixture makes up only about 5 to 10 percent by weight, the remainder being aggregate. Plants like these are carefully controlled and maintain rigid formula standards. As soon as a mix is completed, it is trucked to the scene of construction. The highest types of pavement, those designed to bear the heaviest pounding loads, are constructed with hot laid asphalt mixtures. The courses are compacted by heavy rollers and harden as they cool. But though asphalt courses harden, they never become completely rigid or brittle when the earth shifts beneath the roadbed by frost action, for example, or when heavy loads pound its surface this incomparable pavement gives without breaking, reducing the need for frequent and costly repairs. This property, its flexibility, makes asphalt the ideal paving material. Among the many uses of asphalt today, some of the most important are in the construction of the buildings where we work and live. Like Noah, with his ark, we employ this wondrous material both inside and outside our factories and homes. Because of its matchless waterproofing qualities, asphalt is the most widely used roofing material, either in liquid form or in impregnated fabric, like these ready-cut shingles. The pipes that constitute the vital sanitary and utility systems of our homes are often coated with asphalt to preserve them from corrosion. Asphalt insulating materials keep our homes weather tight, save many times their cost in fuel economy. Asphalt treated wallboards do not tip or crack and have excellent soundproofing qualities. Asphalt sidings for homes and buildings are available in many attractive patterns and textures and asphalt tiles provide us with long wearing floors that require a minimum of care. Outside our homes, we find this rugged material employed on every side as a smooth surface or playground, 
and for resilient, glare-free tennis courts. Asphalt-impregnated brake linings provide smooth, safe braking action. Asphalt mastic protects the car's underbody, and asphalt is used in the battery case, which must be acid and alkali proof. Asphalt is an important ingredient in the fabrication of countless products which serve our daily needs. Everything from printing inks to paints. Charcoal briquettes to clay pigeons. Waterproof mastics to electrical insulation makes use of the versatile properties of asphalt. Our vital irrigation ditches and canals are lined with asphalt, just as in Nebuchadnezzar's day. And our reservoirs and earth dams are faced with the same material, as in this case, prefabricated panels. The runways and aprons of our great air terminals, which must sustain gross loads of over 400,000 pounds today and be ready to handle even greater loads tomorrow, are paved with asphalt. Yes, we've come a long way from those ancient roads in the cradle of civilization to the velvet smooth ride of the superhighways of today, the airstrips of tomorrow. Through the centuries, there have been many improvements in the methods and machinery for road building. But one fundamental ingredient remains the same, nature's versatile material. As the scope of man's travel broadens even more, we may rest assured that asphalt will continue to serve us as it has through the ages. Asphalt, the oldest and most modern paving material, binding together the arteries of civilization. <laughs>